Hi guys, just a very short video again. Uh, I implemented a sort of energy graph if you want. Uh, you can see it, uh, it's a small small one in the corner. Uh, I got the inspiration from this, uh, you know, computer uh, graphs that indicates the CPU load and uh, uh, network activity, uh, things like that. So it's a very similar one. And what you see displayed there um, is just a ADC noise, uh, the differential ADC one. You see the last uh, ADC value 32,000 something. And what you see in the graph is just um, just the noise uh, of the ADC, of that ADC. So I'm reading um, six single-ended ADCs and one differential one. The differential one will be used for um, battery monitor, so because I need uh, a positive and negative uh, current. And um, the time it takes to update the graph, you can see there it's about five six milliseconds. Uh, you can see, you can see here, and. Um, you see the ADC takes about uh, 65, 66 milliseconds to to read all the channels and um, uh, displaying the text and everything else, uh, I mean calculating the real uh, values and everything else takes about uh, 39, 40 milliseconds. So in total, uh, updating everything uh, takes about 100 um, 100 milliseconds so you can see about 10 updates per second sorry at, uh, it started the, the graphic benchmark <laughs> so but uh, yeah that's it it is just a very short video i didn't uh, want to say anything uh, more so uh, yeah this is what i'm working at the moment i will need to start working on the um, schematic and uh, order the beta PCB uh, before doing uh, anything else because uh, as you can see it's just a mess of wires and uh, that's not good enough to to continue with the test so anyway uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah that's it thanks